chosen was where you were you were you were chosen people back with another powerful and productive video yes chosen people let's quickly do our smiling exercise and then we proceed with the video That is so beautiful. Make it a point to inflict your cheeks with some air right now. Plant that beautiful smile on your face. Yes, it helps brighten your days up. This is the day that the Lord has made and we got to be glad and rejoice in it because the Most High God has made it for us. Whether you are happy or sad, that is not going to change the day. God has already made the day. So you have to choose to be happy. Yes, that's it. Right? So plant that beautiful smile on your face. And remember, the storm will soon be over. Okay? Everything is going to fall into place for you. All things are working together for your good. The obstacle, the hindrances, the challenges, they are shifting in your favor, right? Great. And you will overcome every obstacle because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Yes, what is in you is mightier, stronger, powerful than any opposition on the outside. So tell yourself, all is well, all is well. All is well. All is well. Yes. And so will it be. So will it be. Indeed. All is well. Thank you, Chosen One. You read the title of this video. Folks are mad. All because you are making a conscious effort to reshape your earthly destiny because you never lack understanding as a chosen vessel of God you are increasing in the knowledge in the wisdom in understanding and in the anointing of God day in and day out and you understand as a chosen one that you are being blessed with spiritual intelligence. Yes, which help you to not lack understanding of how things work. You understand that in this life, it is not all up to God, but you have a role to play. Because you and God are one and you are a cosmic being. You are invisible and untouchable. So life here on earth is not all up to God. Even though you've been destined for greatness, you have a role to play as a chosen one. To make it happen and that is why you are reshaping your own earthly destiny and folks are mad at this you understand that god has given us a mind and whatever you can see with your mental eyes that is your eyes of faith Whatever you can picture, you can imagine, you can see in there. If you can hold on to it and have the courage to speak it, to confess it, and back it with action and develop a habit to read, you are certainly going to manifest that or achieve that. That is the understanding that you have that many folks they don't have and that is why they jealous you and envy you and they are mad at you 
Yes, many people lack understanding of this. They thought, oh, it is all about praying, praying, praying. No. No, it is about putting in the inner work. Yes, putting in the inner work by starting with your mind. Mind management is the key to greatness. Because as a person thinketh, so he or she is or becomes. Yes. So as a chosen person, you never lack understanding of this. You know that your thoughts become things. Thoughts are things. Thoughts are seeds. That is why you are very careful of the thoughts that you choose to ponder over, to hold on to. Yes, and this is helping to shape your reality, to shape your earthly destiny, because you understand that you are the CEO of your earthly destiny. You are the master of your earthly destiny. Yes, because your thoughts become your words, your words become your actions, your actions become your habits, your habits become your character and your character becomes your earthly destiny. When you understand this, Right? That is the turning point of your life. This is all you need to reshape your destiny. Is that right with your mind, with your thoughts, with your thinking pattern? If you can manage your mind, manage your thoughts, and dwell on positive ones and rebuke the negative ones that will keep coming and focus on the positive one, you will shape your earthly destiny and it will surprise you who you're going to become. That glorious destiny of yours, you are going to get there, to that destination. Yes, it is a waste of time and energy to focus on negative energies or negative thoughts such as revenge, superstition, fear, anger, hatred, envy, jealousy. You know, these are negative thoughts that when you ponder over, when you give your time and energy to, you hold them in your mind. It distracts you. They lead to destructive thoughts. Oh yes. And that affects your thinking pattern negatively and brings you negative results. And that is what your enemies are doing. Yes. Because they don't want the best for you. Your enemies hate us. Many folks, they are dwelling on anger, they are dwelling on jealousy, revenge, superstitious beliefs, you know, um, fear, and these things destroy them. But you, as a chosen one, you dwell and focus on positive energies, positive thoughts, because you understand what scripture says in that book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, that three things remain forever. Faith, hope, and love. And these are positive emotions. So as a chosen vessel, you dwell on positive energies, positive emotions, which are 
feet, hope, love, sex, emotion of sex, emotion of romance, emotion of desire, the emotion of enthusiasm. Because everything you want starts with a burning desire. And when you back that burning desire with faith in your heart, faith is perseverance, faith is persistency, faith is forbearance, faith is trusting the process, faith is working hard as if all depends on you and praying hard as if all depends on God and trusting in God's timing. Yes, your faith is your time and your time is your faith. So you never give up. As you keep pushing, you keep being consistent with what you're doing, building such positive mental attitude and dwelling on positive energies and then having the courage to speak it, to confess it, to become your reality and then backing it with action and building a habit around it and that becomes your character. And your character become your earthly destiny. And boom, you become the person God wants you to be. Yes. And some of you are doing this right. And I tell you, folks are mad because you are minding your own business. And you are taking charge over your life. Chosen people, this is what you need. If you don't give your attention to positive things and you keep dwelling on the negative things, the negative things takes over because what you focus on expands. What you focus on, energy flows into it. Yes, you are what you give your attention to. We are what we give our attention to. Do you give your attention to positive things or you give your attention to the bad energies, the negative energies, the negative emotions? One of the greatest gifts that God has given to us is the gift of choice. Yes, we are free moral agents. You can choose to focus on the negative thoughts that pops up in your mind and that will grow because they are seeds. It will affect your words, it will affect your actions, your habits and your character and become your earthly destiny. You can choose to dwell on the positive energies, positive emotions and energy will flow into it. Yes, the spirit of God will attach to it and that will determine the words you confess. And mind you, your confession determines the life you enjoy. The words you confess, the words you confess help you in taking such actions. And such actions you keep taking daily become your habits. Your habits now become your character. And your character designs your earthly destiny. Some of us, some folks are there blaming God. But this is the truth. When you get this, I tell you, that is your awakening moment. And your life will start to become great. And folks are going to be mad. Because misery lies company. Yes, misery loves company. They want you to end up like them. And if you're doing it and you're not ending up like them, they become mad at you. So chosen people, remember, it starts in here. Yes, it starts in here. So be careful of what you focus on. Don't dwell on the distractions of the enemies. Focus on what God is saying concerning your life. The positive energies, emotions, and you will get there. 
Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.